Hello Scorpio, welcome to Talk Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your weekly tarot reading for the sign of Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. And it will be from the 6th to the 12th of December 2021. So let's see what we have for you, overarching energy first. Scorpio, I will also pull you a money career card and a love card as well. But I have to say, on a lot of the readings, whatever deck I use, it feels like a specific message is still coming up. But we'll see what we get for you. However, you do have the Nine of Cups, Wish Fulfillment. Cups energy is water energy, which is your element as well. This is a celebratory energy as well. Let's see what we have with that. The Challenge Position, the Queen of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, male or female. Advice from Spirit, we have the Lovers. Knight of Cups. The Wheel of Fortune, <laughs> very nice energy. And we have the Queen of Wands. Page of Cups, bottom of the deck, we have the Devil. Right at the end of the reading there is the devil. Let's clarify. Clarify the devil. Two of Wands, choice, a decision. Let's clarify that Nine of Cups. Ten of Swords, yeah, it takes on a different meaning as soon as the Devil appears. One of the deck, Two of Cups, yeah. Okay, let's um, pull you a card in love. Romance, Relationship, Scorpio. What do we have for Scorpio, please? I am thinking of you at this very moment. What do we have for Scorpio, please? Message for Scorpio. What do we have for Scorpio, please? In money, thank you. Two, two or three cards there. Health. Voice promoter. We have health. Some situation that needed resolution will be resolved and healed. Consider careers in the medical field, massage therapy or in a healing work. It is time to replenish your energy and fully energized to prepare for what's next. Voice. Get your message heard and get noticed. You have much to share with the world. Consider careers in radio, public relations or anything in communications. The only thing that's holding you back is your inability to speak your truth. And we have promoter. If there is a new idea or project manifesting, know it has great potential for success. Careers in nightlife industry, events or restaurant industry could be right for you. Use the law of attraction for money. Be the energy you want to attract. Hmm. I mean, it feels those messages are kind of tying over the rest of the reading. So Scorpio, no doubt there is love here. You know, this could, it feels in terms of a relationship. We have the Two of Cups, uh, a soul connection, deep attraction, clearly a lot of love here in this reading. Can sometimes represent new love as well. 
can be in an existing relationship or it can represent new love. The it can also represent a friendship as well, some kind of friendly support or guidance here. We have the Ten of Swords and the Nine of Cups. So a death of a dream. This is the death of a dream. You know, the, the Ten of Swords is an energy of being stabbed in the back, being caused pain. Can represent betrayal as well. You know, the Nine of Cups is generally the wish fulfillment, the hope, the dream, the wish, happiness, joy. In when the devil appears, it can sometimes be somebody is hurt or challenged in a situation, sometimes because of addictive energy, indulgent energy. You know, could you know again, shopping, gambling, um drinking i mean again it'll be different for each of you but this is an energy of maybe some kind of painful ending or painful situation or maybe considering that because someone's making a choice here and i feel it's from an empowered point of view sometimes these energies are brought into a scorpio to make the right decision for our highest good for what is healthy for you making a healthy decision to voice your concerns get things off your chest and again promote maybe a new healthy environment here for some of you as well I don't I think you know this I am thinking of you at this very moment I mean that could be you or the other person in this relationship you know the devil can be codependency addiction can also be obsessive behaviour or controlling behaviour. The addictive energy can be the fact that there is a lot of love in this situation and a lot of attraction and a lot of chemistry, but something might not be serving your highest good. The challenge is that there is somebody is may have hurt you or has hurt you, or there has been some kind of challenging situation. I feel that has pushed you to be at that point where you are ready to make a decision on which way you go in this relationship. Do I stay? Do I stay in the comfort and security of this, knowing that it's not for my highest good, or do I move in a different direction? The Wheel of Fortune is giving you the opportunity, that is the transmutable energy of endings and beginnings. It is it's saying, this universe saying, the timing is gonna come when a decision needs to be made on what serves you. The Queen of Cups, Scorpio, I mean, I feel this is, is your energy, but it can be Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, it can be to do with matters of the heart as well. Queen of Cups might also be somebody who could be giving you help, support, guidance here. Maybe a friend or a family member, somebody who may be connected to the Two of Cups here. I feel in this energy, Scorpio, these queens feel like your energy. Because we have the Queen of Wands, which is Mars energy, which can also be linked with Scorpio. The Queen of Wands is empowered action by trusting your intuition. And when the Queen of Wands appears, generally our intuition has already told us and has already been telling us how we need to act. What we want. She holds one wand and we know at the end of this reading, in the near future, there are two wands available. So this is an energy of, I already know which direction I want to go. My intuition is already telling me what I should do. But again, free will, free, free choice and everything. But this is an energy of taking control of a situation. Because I feel again this energy of something has pushed you to that threshold of making some significant choice or decision. I feel it's to do with a relationship. Do I really want to go around this again? This is an energy here, Scorpio, of feeling someone's not going to change. And certainly the energy on the table are kind of saying, whatever this person is saying or doing, the devil doesn't change. You know, it's like a leopard doesn't change their spots. So I feel in this energy, either you're giving an ultimatum to somebody to say either deal with the issue that you have 
or I'm making a significant choice about this relationship. Or again, it might well be you making a choice about the relationship because of something that's happened here. Someone has to make a choice or a decision. And we have the devil energy again. I've kind of gone into this. It can be about repeating negative cycles. And again, the Wheel of Fortune is saying this is that point where another cycle can be repeated or you have an opportunity to get off that merry-go-round. What does your heart tell you? That will be somebody's helping you make that decision or choice about the future. Two of Wands is the decision or choice about the future. And it's difficult with the devil because the devil is so attractive and alluring. You know, it can be things that we feel comfortable with and familiar with as well that can keep us entrapped for that very reason of fear, of fear of stepping into the unknown. So again, I mean, it could be whatever situation this is. I mean, I'm seeing this as in terms of love, romance, relationship, but it could also be something that's giving you a choice or decision that's affecting you, your love, your romance, romantic relationship here. It feels to do with um, a love situation. But again, some choice or decision from an empowered point of view will be needed. You'll be given two paths. Because there is an energy here, a message could be, I'm sorry, I don't want to lose you, can we start over, I will change, I will face this. We have the Knight of Cups, an offer of love. Somebody wanting to bring positive change, clearly there's a lot of love here. You know, I feel that there are supportive energies around you, Scorpio, maybe giving you some kind of advice here in terms of what's serving your highest good. I certainly see in this energy, with the amount of water energy at the end of this reading, your intuition is strongly guiding you in a specific direction. And I feel that you're being told to listen to that. Interesting, that Two of Cups, again, it can be, it can be in terms of a love connection that you're dealing with here, it can also be new love. But this can also be a friend giving you some kind of advice or guidance or a family member. The two of Cups, it's also I'm seeing maybe you connecting to who you are as well. You know, sometimes the lovers is where we connect to our higher selves and take action from an empowered point of view to make the right choice for us. But I feel with that Queen of Wands being in this reading, somebody is already, is already knows what the right choice is for them. So choices, choices and significant choices. The message that the universe wants to bring to you, Scorpio, in this situation, and I know it won't be for everybody, is to voice your concerns. Get everything on the table. Can this, is this situation retrievable? And now what are the steps that are the best for your highest good? Healthy, to bring a healthy environment back to your situation. And again, promoting that, I feel. Feels like promoting and attracting positive, a positive environment. So that's what I have for you. I feel you'll be faced with a, a choice. It is choice energy, threshold energy, that gateway. Okay, so we have Koi Cup. Abundance, move with the flow of abundance around you and through you. It's very good in terms of money abundance, but ab abundance energy is also a healthy energy. It's where we don't feel lack in a situation, where we feel that I think there's growth, there's an opportunity to thrive, there's, a, there's positive healing energy there. We have kangaroo courage, you are being tested, have faith and stand in your truth. And we have raven, wise woman, a change is coming. That is signaled by the, the Wheel of Fortune. You know, I feel that there's something's going to happen here that is going to bring you to that point of making some significant choice or decision if it's not happened already. And this is an energy if somebody already knows deep down which way they're going to take action. And it is from a point of taking control on what serves their highest good now to bring positive change. That's what I have for you, Scorpio. I hope you found the reading useful, validating. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe and I will see you next time. Thank you.